Glory to God. Gloria al mole. Welcome to today's program. Nil welcome al program talu. Hour of deliverance. Siata helsin. It's a joy to welcome you once again to our program. Wata seuta fair halina bishen na jau nil welcome al dan il program. God has a special blessing for you today. Ul mole andu barka speciali ali kilu. Gather your family. Hale kitch bul family tam. Let's have a wonderful time with the Lord. Uya hai kwan na hin sabih mal mole. Today is your day of miracle. Ul lomu al yom tia kan miraklo. Right now. Uista. We're gonna pray. We're going to believe God to touch your life. Let us pray. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your power. Thank you for every viewer of this program. Right now, we ask you to bless and minister to everyone here tonight. Father, touch your people. By your power. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What a joy, friend, to be on your way again. Our God is a powerful God. I'm sure He has something good for you today. We're going to read the Bible from the book of Luke. Chapter, chapter 17. We're going to read chapter 17. Verse 32. Verse The Bible says, remember Lot's wife. The Bible says, remember Lot's wife. Friend, what happened to Lot's wife? Jesus was speaking on a certain day. And he said, remember Lot's wife. To get the full story of what happened to Lot's wife, turn your Bible to the book of Genesis chapter 19. I want us to see what happened to Lot's wife. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chapter 19, we read from verse 27. Genesis chapter 19, verse 27. Hallelujah. Wabram am kmini filodu. Verse 26. Skuzauni. Isda martu minwara harset lura. Usaret pilastro talmel. The Bible said, Lost wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. This story is a unique one in the Bible. The Bible tells us that the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah was so terrible before the Lord that God decided to annihilate Sodom and Gomorrah. The sin was thinking before the Lord. There was a lot of evil in that town. And the Bible says that God said, I'm fed up of this sin. I'm going to do something about this sin. And so God sent his angels to the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. And the Bible says that as the angels were in that city, they became obvious that the city was under destruction. But there was in this city a righteous man called Lot and his family. And God told Lot to get out of the house with his family and to go to the land that he's going to give to them. As they were leaving the land, the, co the command that God gave to them was very clear. Don't look back. Keep on going straight. That was what God commanded them. But unfortunately for Lot's wife, she looked back. And Lot's wife looked back. And the Bible says she became a pillar of salt. Friend, one thing is very clear here. When God speaks to us, God means what he says to us. When God 
God's word says something. Many people don't take God's word for, for, for real. There was a specific command. And the command was clear. Go from the city of Sodom and Gomorrah and don't look back. But the Bible says lost wife should disobey the command of the Lord. You know, friend, tonight as you're watching this program I want to take your mind back to your life. There are so many things that God must have told you. And God must have told you keep on living your life for me. Keep on trusting me. Keep on walking with me. But along the line, you have fallen aside. You have looked back. Today, I find out that the God of money, the God of sex, the God of materialism has drawn many people away from God. And because of that, Many people are no longer following after the Lord. My friend, can I tell you this moment? God's word is true. The Bible says, Jesus Christ came into the world that he may deliver you, that he may save you, that he may set you free. Friend, there is power in the name of Jesus. Whenever you are here in this program right now, God is going to touch you in the mighty way. But it's up to you today to obey the law. And not look back. It's up to you today to obey the Lord. And not look back. Friend, in this life, there are so many things that happen in our lives. Many people go through life without discovering their destiny. But can I tell you, friends, God has a plan for your life. God loves you, my friend. He cares for you, my friend. That is why he sent Jesus to die for you. The Bible says the wife of Lot looked back she disobeyed the command of the Lord. And she became a pillar of salt. My prayer for you today is this. Don't look back. Maybe you are reading the Bible. Maybe you are going to, to, to the Lord. And something bad happens in your life. Maybe it's a tragedy. And you're saying to yourself, Oh, where is God? God has forsaken me. Can I tell you, friends, don't stop going to serve the Lord. Don't stop going to worship the Lord. Circumstances of life will come and go. The Bible tells us God has demonstrated his love towards us. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. There is joy today, my friends. I feel such a joy telling you this news. The Jesus died for you. Whatever you're going through in your life, keep on serving the Lord, my friend. Keep on trusting the Lord, my friend. Keep on worshiping the Lord. Maybe right now, you are struggling with a lost boyfriend. Maybe your husband left you. Maybe nobody cares about you anymore. One of the things I see the devil attacking our society is marriage. You the man 15 years ago. You want four children together. Or two children together. And one day he wakes up and tells you he don't love you anymore. And you lose hope. And he moves out of the house. You said there is no more hope. 
Maybe right now, you say to yourself, there's no hope in my life. There's no joy in my life. You may be depressed right now. Some of you may be com com considering committing suicide. Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. What a joy, my friend. There is a, there is a name above sickness. There's a name above cancer. There's a name above depression. There's a name above poverty. That name is Jesus. That name is Jesus. My friend today, Jesus is knocking at your door. And he wants to come and fill your life right now. Now friends, will you open the door? Will you open the door? As you hear the sound of my voice today, and you watch this program. You may have lost hope in your life. Get your Bible out. We want to pray with you. We want to ask God to help you. For in the name of Jesus. You know what the Bible says? The Bible says, in the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. Friend, he is Lord. He is Lord. I know that there are people right now that are saying life is not fair. Somebody in your family may have died of cancer or an accident may have happened somewhere and you say life is not fair. For, so, for some reasons we don't have answer to all the questions. But there is one thing we have answer to. That Jesus Christ has the power to touch your body, to heal you, to rescue you, to free you. Right now, my friend, it's your day. You can open the door right now and say, Jesus, for a long time, I have been looking back, but today, I want to come to you, Jesus. But today, I want to serve you. I want to worship you. I want to honor you. Jesus, come into my heart. Right now, you can make peace with God. Right now, you can enjoy the peace of God. Right now, He can fill you with an immeasurable joy. My friend, right now, can I ask you a question? When was the last time you came home and you opened your Bible and you read the Bible? Oh, you said, no, I don't read the Bible anymore. The Bible is God's word for you and me. When we read the Bible, God speaks to us. God speaks to us through the Bible. When was the last time you read the Bible? Today, you can read your Bible again. I want to read again to you the word of God. John chapter 10, verse 10. Yes, open your Bible with us. Yeah, open your Bibles. John chapter 10, verse 10. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says here, yeah, the thief cometh but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That is the only reason the thief comes. Now, in the Bible, the thief refers to the devil or to Satan. He comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But look at the next verse. Jesus said, but I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. That is the reason why Jesus came. That you may have life and have it more abundantly. Friends, right now, that abundant life, you can know it in your life. That abundant life, you can enjoy it in your life. 
That abundant life can flow in your life. Maybe right now, you're looking for someone to pray with you like. Call us on the number below. Let's pray with you. Let's ask God to bless you. Let's ask God to touch you. There is power in the name of Jesus. So right now, our subject today is this. Don't look back. Don't look back. Whatever you're doing for God, don't look back. Right now, don't look back. Continue serving the Lord. Continue worshiping the Lord. Maybe you are here, you are hearing right now. Are you saying my father doesn't love me? My mother doesn't love me. Everybody forsook me. The Bible says, if my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will pick me up. That is the promise of God. God has promised to pick you up. God has promised that he will not leave you nor forsake you. Right now, friend, the hand of the Holy Ghost is upon your life. You can know the peace of God in your life. Maybe you are sick right now. Maybe the doctor said there is no hope for you. Maybe nobody else wants in your life. Right now, Jesus. Jesus. Can free you. Can heal your body. Jesus can come into your heart. Friend, Habib, now is your day. He wants to touch you. He wants to come into your heart. He wants to bless you. He wants to move in your life. Now is your day. You can experience the tremendous love of God in your life. Gonna, we're going to pray with you very shortly. We're going to ask God to establish you to help you and to do something in your life. Friend, now, can I ask you, are you working with God? Are you working with Jesus? Friend, right now, the Holy Ghost power is in your living room. I want to pray with you. Pray with me right now. I want to ask God to come into our hearts to change our lives we want to ask God right now to come and forgive us our sins pray with me right now Lord Jesus yeah, say it loud Lord Jesus Say it like, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive my sins. Change my life. You say it again, say, Lord Jesus. Right now, whatever your name is, say, Lord Jesus. Right now, forgive me. Come into my heart. Change my life. Say, right now, I need you. Now pray again with me. I say, Jesus, I want to know you more. I want to study your word. I want to know the God that of heaven and earth. Friend, Habib, today is a new day in your life. I want to assure you, if you pray that prayer, in the name of Jesus, we pray. And the Holy Ghost will touch you and minister to you. Now I want to pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every viewer of this program. Lord, we ask you, as many as have given their heart to you right now, come into their heart. Clean them with the blood of Jesus. Father, have mercy. And do something new in their life. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for your power. We thank you, Lord, for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Now, my friend, I want to ask you now, contact us this week. We want to hear from you. We want to pray with you. We want to encourage you to continue serving the Lord. As you continue you know, serving the Lord, you will enjoy the wonderful and tremendous peace of Jesus. Remember, 
Stackard. God loves you. And I hope Until we come your way again. Remember. Stackard. You have no problem. problem. All you need. Is faith in God. May God bless and keep you. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.